Hello students, in this lecture we will study air filter, air receiver, air lubricator, air dryer okay and uh, this air filter, receiver and lubricator uh, combinedly known as FR, <coughs> FRL unit okay so we will start this is a combination of filter, regulator and gauge and this is a lubricator and this is a compress air system motor compressor gauge and tank is as shown in this figure and this is a drawing symbol of this frl unit and next generally airline filter and airline filter cleans compress air it strains the air traps solid particles that is a dust dirt rust and separates liquids that is a water and oil entered in the compressed air filters are installed in the air line upstream of regulators lubricators directional control walls and air driven devices such as cylinders and air motors okay so filters pneumatic filters in that uh, it is a device which removes containment from a compressed air stream this can be done using a number of different techniques from using a media type that traps um, particulates but allow air to pass through to a venturi to a membrane that only allows air to pass through unfiltered compressed air frequently contains as previously mentioned dust oil rust moisture and other harmful substances and therefore requires filtration in the first stage of filtration the compressed air passes through a tube shaped mesh filter which creates um, collisions uh, effect so air filter air needs to be filtered to be free from moisture and contamination air filter is used to this job the filter element removes the particles and moisture as small as 5 microns normally 30 to 50 micron filter is used in a pneumatic system so this is a air filter adjustment as shown in this diagram air inlet and this is a air outlet and uh, this is a filter element as shown in this uh, diagram and liquid is uh, as shown in this figure as downward side and this is a drain and uh, graphical symbol of air filter is as shown in this diagram then air filter as shown in this figure drawing symbol as previously mentioned and in line air filter collects and retains containments that is uh, uh, contaminants that is uh, air is uh, in in this uh, side and uh, this is a baffle plate filter and filter ball and this is a drain and air clean air you will get from this side so filter structure and operating principle the incoming air from the outside filter first pass through a deflector which is a round system with several wings installed at angle as the air passes through the wings it rotates and separates relatively large particles and impurities are separated by centrifugal force and accumulate at the bottom of the filter once the deflector the air passes through the filter element in the center to filter all the other remaining impurities to flow to the secondary area the baffle on the bottom of the element prevents the accumulated drain from entering the secondary area with the flow of air so this is operating principle of a filter parts of filters the components of pneumatic filter generally use sintered metal synthetic resin metal or metal screen or sintered metal is compact and form into a solid mass a metal element heats micro metal particles um, that is a bronze with electricity to attach uh, the connecting parts of the particles to form a filtering layer with many small holes 
so reliability is one of the strongest reason to use compress air and uh, proper filtration is the key to maximizing reliability and uh, longevity compress air can carry condensed water oil carry over from compressors solid impurities that is pipe scale and rust generated within the pipelines and other air particles from the ambient air these contaminants can cause problems at every point of use and should be removed by installing suitable filters so this is a diagrammatical uh, representation again this uh, wet air enters and uh, here uh, this is a filtered arrangement cleanable porous bronze element is there then polycarbonate ball is mentioned here then multi-stage baffle spins air to separate a moisture as shown in this figure okay so filter types activated carbon filters so activated carbon filters utilize a composite carbon material to remove gases and odors from the air they are used in factories where food is produced or um, for breathing gas cool cool sink filters cool cool sink filters are uh, cooling sink filters operated at around 35 degree pad uh, allowing them to more effective at uh, removing moistures compressed intake filters intake filters are the first line of defense in filtering this filter can remove contaminants down to 0.3 micrometer and can remove chemical contaminants uh, vapor that is a uh, is also removed then removal filters uh, these removal filters are typically used to remove gaseous lubricants that will go through the coalescing filter. Dry um, particulate filters. Dry particulate filters are usually employed to remove distant particles after the uh, absorption dryer. They can also be implemented at point of use to remove any corrosion particles. Corrosion particles are also removed from the compressed air. Dry particulate filters operate in similar manner as a cool sink filter, capturing and retaining particles within the filter media. So this is a, another diagrammatical representation of this dry particulate filters. The pneumatic water separators. Water or moisture can break havoc on a pneumatic component without a water separator in place water can make its way to the wall or cylinder and can cause them to deteriorate and stick reducing the effectiveness of the product by adding a water separator a pneumatic filter can help remove water or water borne contaminants so this is a, a pneumatic water separator then pneumatic Particulate filters, Particle, uh, particles such as dust and debris can infiltrate uh, the pneumatic components, uh, causing the premature rust. The dust generally comes from the old carbon pipes and air dryers. Particulates, um, particulates filters have a woven design which is effective for trapping dust and particles. So this is a diagrammatical representation of this pneumatic per, uh, particulate filters. The next pneumatic coalescing filter. Coalescing filters are good at removing water, rust and oil from in air supply. A coalescing filter design is different than other filter types but it works similarly to remove unwanted liquids. As air moves through the filter, solid particles are trapped inside inside forming droplets that drain away this is a diagrammatical representation of coalescing filter most oil in enter uh, entrain in a compressed air stream as well as some of the condensed uh, water will be in the form of mist or aerosols that can pass through the opening in the standard airline filters air for the instruments uh, spray painting and bulk material conveying frequently requires the removal of such a droplets 
coalescing type filter will accomplish this job so this is a coalescing type filter uh, air inlet body as shown in this figure this is a air outlet this is a coalescing element center mounting studies as shown in this figure collected liquid as shown and this is a drain then absorbing filter Abs uh, absorbing pneumatic filters are used to remove oil from compressed air streams they are located close to the source of the oil to provide a more effective results they are often used for breathing uh, apparatuses and food and drug applications the next uh, component is uh, in a pneumatic system is a air receiver as name indicates it stores the uh, air an air receiver sometimes referred to as compressed air tank is an integral part of any compressed air system the main purpose of this is to act temporary storage to accommodate the peaks of a demand from your system and to optimize the running efficiency of your plant and this is a diagrammatical representation of a, a air receiver as shown in this uh, diagram uh, large tanks are used in a uh, industry an air receiver tank sometimes called an air compressor tank or compressed air storage tank is exactly what is sound like a tank that receives and stores compressed air after it exits the air compressor this gives you a res uh, reserve of compressed air that you can draw on without running your air compressor and air receiver is a type of pressure vessel it holds compressed air under pressure for future use the tanks come in a range of sizes and in both vertical and horizontal uh, configurations purpose of air receiver tank as uh, name indicates it stores the air and air receiver tank provides temporary storage for compressed air it is uh, it also helps your air compression system run more efficiently the air receiver tank has three main functions in your compressed air system it stores the compressed air that can be used for short high demand events it provides a steady air signal to compressor control when used as a wet tank it acts as a secondary heat exchanger uh, increasing the efficiency of your air dryer then compressed air storage the primary role of an air receiver tank is to provide temporary storage for compressed air. Storing compressed air, compressed air allows the system to average the peaks in a compressed air demand over the course of a ship. The air in the tank is available even the compressor is not running. Storing compressor air reduces sudden demands on your air compressor prolonging the life of your system using an air receiver tank may also allow you to use smaller horsepower compressor for large um, large jobs and next is uh, after the air receiver next company is a air pressure regulator the, as name indicates it regulates the pressure of air the pressure regulator is used to adjust the desired pressure for the pneumatic system this use a piston to sense downstream pressure fluctuations the piston in turn works against a set spring pressure as the pressure downstream drops it is sensed by diaphragm okay so this is a diaphragm and it is sensed by diaphragm and a poppet wall open this is a poppet wall uh, this adjusts the piston of the puppet wall which limits the downstream pressure to the preset value so this is the adjustment knob of a air pressure regulator spring is as shown in this diagram okay and uh, puppet wall then tube or pilot passage as shown in this uh, diagram and this is a graphical symbol of a air pressure regulator then next is a uh, uh, another representation that is a uh, internal structure you can say this is a damping spring wall disc wall set this is a diaphragm as uh, spring previous slide i have, have observed vent hole and these are the adjacent screws this is a uh, 
symbolic representation of a regulator and this is a overall structure of a regulator pressure regulators reduce and control air pressure in compressed air system including rotary screw air compressors regulators are also frequently referred to as prvs pressure reducing valves Optimally, uh, a pressure regulator maintains a constant output pressure regardless of variation in the input pressure uh, and uh, downstream flow requirements. In practice, output pressure is uh, influenced to some degree by variation in uh, primary pressure and flow. Pressure regulators are used to control pressure uh, to air tool blow guns, that is, a pressure regulator regulates pressure of all such type of system that is a gauging equipment, air cylinders, air bearings, air motor spraying devices, then fluidic system, air logic walls and aerosol lubrication systems. What is air filter regulator? A device that is used primarily for regulate pressure and filtering the air for stable source of air to process control equipment such as current to pneumatic transducers and control wall positioners. Uh, why is it is uh, important to regulate the pressure? Pressure is one of the most important aspect of any piping system. If pressure is too low, the system is uh, powerless. And if it is too high, over pressure affects filters, tools, spray heads, instruments, any vital tool in a liquid piping system also. Uh, uses of pressure regulator as a control element to ensure that downstream pressure does not exceed a set point as a safety device to protect equipment from harmful over pressure also third uh, uses to regulate to the correct pressure range simple definition of pressure regulator a pressure regulator is a normally open wall that take a high inlet pressure and converts it to a lower preset downstream pressure so this is a cutaway view of a 78 series pressure regulator this is a lock screw spring button adjust screw is there then diaphragm plate as shown in this diagram inlet this is an outlet and uh, this is a supply wall mm, filter then port spring bottom cap and drain cock as shown in this figure so rotation of the pressure setting knob comprises the range spring uh, against the diaphragm plate opening the main supply wall okay so main supply wall is a uh, open and this is a diaphragm plate plate as the outlet pressure increases, it flows through the aspirator and acts on the lower side. Okay, this is an aspirator um, and acts on the lower side of the diaphragm, causing it to move upward until it balances the force of the range spring. Okay, this balance condition maintains constant output pressure with changes in supply pressure and output load so this is a, another diagrammatical representation if the output pressure rises above the set pressure the relief wall opens and bleeds the excess pressure to the atmosphere so this is a relief wall and uh, uh, if the output pressure rises above the set pressure the relief wall is uh, open and uh, bleeds the excess pressure to the atmosphere the next component used in a pneumatic is a air lubricator a lubricator ensures proper lubrication of internal moving parts uh, pneumatic components the proportional increase in oil mixed by an increase of air flow is achieved by spring loaded puppet assembly as the flow increases and the wall opens, the area is increased and a pressure differential created. So this is a graphical symbol of an air lubricator. And this is a detailed structure of a lubricator. This is a drip chamber, drip duct, inlet, check wall, then duct wall, outlet, 
then oil passage the this is a drawing symbol of a lubricator choosing the best airline lubricator many pneumatic system components and almost all pneumatic tools perform better when lubricated with oil injecting an oil mist into the air system air stream which powers them can continuously lubricate walls cylinders and air motors for proper operation and long service life locating the lubricator last in the pipeline is important to ensure that the correct amount of lubrication reaches each device too little oil can allow excessive wear and cause premature failure excessive oil in the pipeline is a wasteful and can become a contaminant in the emission area as it is carried out of a tools and walls by the air exhaust so this is diagrammatical representation of a lubricator fill plug venturi outlet this is a fill rate uh, adjustment slide glass this is a inlet this is a bypass wall and this is a capillary tube the next uh, component used in the uh, pneumatic system is a air dryers so compressed air dryers are special types of filters system that are specifically designed to remove the water that is inherent in a compressed air so if we compress the air then water vapors are also generated due to cooling effect and we have to dry that air the process of compressing air raises its temperature and concern treat atmospheric contaminants primary water vapor as the compressed air compressed air cools water vapor condenses into the tanks pipes hoses and tools that are downstream from the compressor water vapor is removed from compressed air to prevent condensation from occurring and to prevent moisture from interfering in a sensitive industrial process then freon based refrigerated compress uh, air dryer so this is a refrigerated compress air dryer compressor suction line rejection heat air input heat exchanger this is a freon charge air output this is a trap and this is a drain cock meeting uh, metering device this is a pan and this is a condenser so refrigerated dryers are the most common type of a compressed air dryer they remove water from the air stream by cooling the air to the approximately 3 degree centigrade and effectively condensing out the moisture control environment then jt type compressed air dryer uh, this is a diagrammatical representation of that uh, dryer and uh, Uh, this is a integral master regulator output pressure gauge expanding air then consideration uh, element this is a body separated uh, condensate and uh, this is a trapped condensate and this is a drain wall so jt type dryers are unit that utilizes the compressed air stream as their refrigeration element high pressure compressed air is fed into the pressure reducing wall on the top of the dryer so next is a dill uh, deliquescent uh, compressed air dryer and uh, this is diagrammatical representation uh, this is a air input and generally salt is used and uh, to uh, dry the air vessels as shown in this figure this is a vessel and this is a drain wall these dryers are typically a large pressure vessel that is filled with the salt crystals the when water vapor comes in contact with the salt it attaches and dissolves the media or uh, dill liquescence as liquid water builds on the salt crystal brine is formed which drains down and collects in the bottom of the vessel twin tower descent compressed air dryer this is a twin tower uh, descent compressed air dryer uh, left tower this is a right tower uh, heater um, descent uh, charge lower um, diverter wall 
and uh, this is upper diverter wall and this is the air output so descent tires are sometimes referred to as absorption tires operate by absorbing water vapor into the porous media with high affinity for water these types of dryers are also referred to as absorption system or gators because these dryers get and hold the water they are minimally effective as a first stage dryer okay then membrane type compressed air dryer so this is a diagrammatical representation of membrane type compressed air dryer membrane dryer refers to the dehumidification membrane that removes water vapor from compressed air membrane dryer operate on the principle of migration the compressed air to be dried is passed over a membrane that has a high affinity for water vapor the water vapor builds on the membrane and migrates through to the opposite or lower pressure side a dryer covers gas flowed across the low pressure side and absorbs the water on the membrane after absorbing the water the cover gas is discharged to the atmosphere so this is the air input this is a moist discharge this is the cover gas this is a membrane and dry air output will get from this side so this is a membrane dryer refers to the dehumidification membrane that removes water vapor from compressed air then modular and combination uh, frl units so in the present today's uh, manufacturers combine three elements combinedly that is a filter regulator and lubricator that is a frl unit you can say the manufacturers frequently pre-assemble filters regulators and lubricators to form a combination unit okay they are packaged together as common body sizes with common connection port sizes interconnection may be via threaded nipples or modular face connectors so interconnection may be by via threaded nipplers nipples or modular face connectors so this is a, a modern frl unit as shown in this diagram so thanks for attending the lecture in this lecture we have taken in detail uh, filters uh, used in a pneumatic system different filters are used to filter the air then we have studied the different uh, regulators air pressure regulators then we have also studied the air receivers different air receivers to store the uh, air and uh, next we have studied the uh, lubricator air lubricator so some lubrication is also required uh, in a pneumatic system and then next is the air dryer when air is compressed and uh, at, uh, due to compression heat is generated and after heat some moisture or water vapors are generated and to remove the, those air dryers are required so we have covered in detail so in exam you can summarize more number of diagrams uh, we have taken in and explained in detail okay thanks